I'm not a developer, but I have a lot of game development hardware, including this Intelligent Systems Nitro emulator. So if I'm not a developer, what do I use it for exactly? Well, hopefully with new camera in hand, which I'm sure you can tell I don't really know how to use, I can tell you just that. First off, what is the Is Nitro emulator? It's the main development kit for the Nintendo DS, which was an evolution of the Iris development tool that was in the works before shifting to the two screens. This model is a later model, having the USG upgrade, which is the DS Lite instead of the FAT unit. It also has the wireless upgrade, which we can talk about a little bit more in a bit, and video out, meaning I don't have to use the Nitro Capture unit if I don't want to, although this functionality has been hacked for non-video out units at this point. The emulator uses a GameCube power supply and has two AV ports, one for each screen if that's how you choose to use it, and an Ethernet port to connect to units without wireless, and a USB port to connect to your PC. The DS Lite is more of a controller in this case, connecting to the main box. The cartridge ports aren't functional on the DS Lite itself, but the main emulator box does have cartridge ports. Unlike a Nitro Capture, these cannot play retail carts, well, mostly anyway. Instead, my primary use is to use the USB port to load a development ROM directly onto the console. To do this, I use Windows XP, not networked of course, though there are some hacks available to get it working on some newer operating systems. But because most of the build systems I use are built for XP, it's just easier to stick with that. So let's take this ROM that I built already. I can load it up in the development software, click a few options, and then wait a minute or two, sometimes longer. And then with any luck, the game works just fine as if it was running off a cartridge. Some games have a bunch of debug information that stream by, some don't, depending on how the ROM is built and there can be some incompatibility depending on the save type of the cartridge, or the game more accurately. This debug information can be extremely helpful in diagnosing a problem, even for a non-programmer like myself. My other use is to take a blank DS development cartridge and flash it with a ROM. Most of the time, a retail flash card like an ACE card can be used without issue to load a development ROM directly from an SD card, but this is more fun. Like loading a ROM previously, there is a bit of a weight involved, but once you're done, you have yourself a shiny new prototype ready to go. You can take that prototype cart and pop it into a standard DS system, though you may need a hacked unit, and in this case I'm using a hacked new 3DS. Since my emulator has Wi-Fi, I can start up a multiplayer game, mixing and matching all sorts of DS systems if I really want to. This setup really works for me. I can quickly build a ROM and test it out without swapping SD cards and wondering if a retail flash card is going to work properly, which it occasionally doesn't. Using the USB port puts less stress on the DS card slot, which are known to fail occasionally, especially this many years after the console's release. Now to be perfectly clear, there is a ton of functionality that I simply don't use. While I do occasionally use the video out of the emulator, the Nitro Capture does the job just as well and works with retail games, which is a huge help as someone with a small collection of DS titles. The capture can also take screenshots over USB, which are pixel perfect, along with pixel perfect video, though that feature isn't nearly as good. If you want to see more of the DS capture unit, do let me know in the comments below. So yeah, while I'm barely scratching the surface for what an Is Nitro emulator is capable of, it does get its use, and quite a bit when compared to others that may be collecting dust on a shelf, like many of my other development kits, if I'm being honest. If you like this short video on how I use the development kit, let me know as I'm planning to make some more. Thank you to everyone who is a new subscriber, or those who continue to subscribe after all these years. Follow me on Twitter at Borman18, and until next time, thanks for watching.